Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Moby Dick, 1956, movie thoughts. I suppose I will start with the ending, the coffin of Queequeg. That was an excellent little, you know, detail that, you know, that was actually, it was my girlfriend who pointed out, I hadn't quite put together that Queequeg actually saw that, you know, he was going to need this coffin, you know, that Ishmael could only survive by virtue of this coffin, which wouldn't let water in, like Queequeg, you know, asked of the, you know, it was, I guess he saw that the only person to save was Ishmael, and he of course survived only in order to tell the tale. This is, you know, this is how legends arise, you know, you see that man, he was the only survivor of this or that, you know, and these are the details, you know. The... I liked the kind of parallels of the situation that Ahab and company were in with, you know, I don't remember the captain's name, but, you know, when they are surrounded by just a ton of whales and they're just making a killing, literally, this other captain comes aboard, you know, says, you know, bring some rum and see this, you know, I got this pirate hook, essentially. I lost my arm to a whale, and I'm happy about it, you know, it is the... It's the right attitude, really, because when you lose something, you know, it's like, not Stubbs, like the, the grinning guy says, you know, positive attitude, you know, have a positive outlook, you know, he's saying, I could laugh my way right to death, you know, I, I will laugh when I'm writing my will, something like that. It's, you know, that's the way you should respond to things like that, because bad stuff is going to happen, but Ahab makes it personal, you know, he, it's like, you know, he, he will not let it, I, I would say it's partially pride that is, you know, it, and it costs him dearly, you know, and the people with him, and at this point I do have to make a joke that, you know, so God is unhappy with Ahab, and because of that, pretty much everyone dies. You know, Ishmael is the one survivor. Yeah, God just is not much for the whole laser precision thing, you know, it's just collective punishment, why not? You know, because they're there with him, so yeah, why shouldn't they all pay for this one man's decision? Okay, granted, they are following him, but he is kind of, you know... It is this kind of, they, he's the captain. To disobey him is practically mutiny, although, you know, there is that law thing with the, you know, I don't remember his name, but the second in command or something points out that they could overthrow him. I really, it was really compelling to me that he even, even he, would give in to just the madness and the, you know, even he followed Ahab at the end. He had a perfect chance to kill Ahab, but at the end he just, he follows him. He is in fact one of the most fervent near the end, you know, towards this kind of, and that is kind of, you know, madness is infectious, kind of, you know, it's, when when you're in that situation and you're really gripped by this this desire this focus it can kind of rub off on the people around you and yeah you know it and ahab ends up being you know, he, he has refused to let go of his bond or his connection to Moby Dick. He insists 
that he must return to it, you know, hunt it. So he ends up literally tied to it and thus killed. That has got to be a horrible death. You know, one thing is just the drowning, which is bad enough, but the whale, its body is supposed to swim really fast underwater. Human beings are not meant to be dragged like that, you know, with, and even, you know, yeah, that, and, and that's kind of, you know, he was headed towards that. It, his, his hatred and his pride ensure that that will be his fate. You know, he is to, I mean, I mean there at the end, he's even out there on the boat, he's even attacking it directly itself. You know, he isn't even, you know, having people do that for him anymore. You know, like when the old guy collapses in the rowboat and Ahab just sits down and picks up the oar and continues, you know. He is that determined, you know. I mean, it's nice that he gets into, you know, that he's not just delegating the work, but actually working directly, physically, physically hard himself. But it really, you know, for that time, that was just practically unheard of, you know, he's, he's the authority, he's above them, he's not on the level as them, so for him to actually do that is truly, it, it really shows just how determined he is. I don't know if there is much else. Oh, also the to return to you know the several people that are sort of in they're in similar situations as Ahab. Obviously, also the captain of the other boat they meet, the other ship with again I'm horrible with names. The you know the one who saves Ishmael at the end. They're out looking for you know this captain's 12 year old son you know it maybe excuse me maybe they were also on some kind of quest for revenge maybe not we don't exactly know not from the film again they are kind of you know they're focusing on trying to save people trying to help trying to do something good and important you know, there is a chance that they can save a 12-year-old. That's, you know, a big deal. But Ahab refuses to help, instead insisting to continue the mad quest for Moby Dick. You know, it's... It, it really shows just how far he is going, you know. And, again, you know, it is a kind of mirror of Ahab's own situation with, you know, there have also been losses and he, you know, he's also, you know, both of them are out for the whale. We don't know if the other ship is also for revenge or if it's, you know, to profit from it, as they do with most of the whales they kill. But, you know, it, their focus is in the right place and because of that, it's only because of that that Ishmael survives, you know, it is the, when, when madness takes over, it is up to the, the people who, rem, who keep a cool head to save the situation, you know. I suppose that just about does it for the, yeah. Fantastic film. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.